Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about reading data from database table using entity framework. In our previous tutorial, we have inserted, inserted data into the database using entity framework. If I show you the database table, which is this uh, ST table, student table, and we have inserted these records. Now, if I run this application and show you the functionality of this right now, so I can enter the uh, student name here. So I will use Tanvir, and then I can enter student father name here. So I'll enter Ahmad, and here I can ins uh, insert the uh, address of the student. So uh, I'll enter Peshawar, and now if I insert this data, so. We haven't shown any message box, but if I come here and now if I execute this, we have three records. And if I execute it right now, now we can see that the fourth one is added Tanvir Ahmad and Peshawar. Now we will read this data. So for that, I'll come here, I'll stop this application, I'll double click on this uh, form to create its load event now form load event is created so now here um, I'll uh, go to the application and here I'll uh, add in a data grid view because we will show the data in uh, this data grid view so I'll uh, drag it right here and I'll take it down here and now I'll expand it on this side as well as down now our data grid view is created so now we will go to the form load event and now down here I'll create the uh, uh, method for populating this data grid view so I will use private uh, wide populate data grid view and now I'll use this and uh, now here um, I'll use uh, data grid view one so if I show you here in the designer if I click on this and this is its name data grid view one so we will reference it by this name so data grid view one dot data source now we have to reference our entity framework entities class so uh, if I show you here this one and now if I expand this one now I'll expand this so this student DB entities is our uh, entity class and this is our table class this one is T table this one is our stable class we have student ID student name and so we can get the data with this so if I go to here and uh, double click on this to its click event and then if I come here uh, to the top here and if I use the student DB entities DB equals new student DB entities and now I'll put semicolon here and I will use a DB dot um, ST tables dot to list And here I'll pass in single ST table and now I'll close this and put a semicolon so only this line will get all the data from this ST table and show it in this uh, data grid view so now if I call this in form load event populate data grid view and now if I put semicolon here now if I run this application right now now you will see data in our data grid view. Now you can see that all the four records are uh, inserted into this, uh, are retrieved and shown in this data grid view. Now if I insert a, a new record, I want to show that record as well in this. So for that, I will come here, uh, stop this, go to form design to this insert, and now. At the end of this, I'll um, call that function populate data grid view. 
semicolon. I'll show it in a message box here as well. So message box dot show data inserted successfully. And now I'll put semicolon here. Now I'll run this application right now. Now the application is running. So if I enter another record, uh, and the hub and uh, now if I insert the father name is uh, uh, Ali and if I insert the address is Lahore and now if I insert this data successfully inserted and if I click OK now you can see in the hub is retrieved and shown here so I think that's all part today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you